There are two ways to tint your taillights. You could either use a film tint or a spray tint. I'm going to show you which one is more suitable to use on your vehicle. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Changing the color or opacity of your taillights, headlights, or fog lights can give your car, truck, or SUV a custom look and feel. Sometimes the little details pull off a specific look or style. Smoke taillights can help balance the look of a car with tinted windows to produce a nice, clean, stylish look for the whole vehicle. Tinting your taillights can be done in one of two ways. The first method would be spraying them by using VHT Nightshade or Rust-Oleum Tint Spray which are two of the most popular choices. The second method would be using tint film like Vivid Air Release and a heat gun. I'm going to show you guys how to apply both methods and show you which option is the better one to use when tinting your own taillights on your vehicle. We will be doing the right taillight first and we will be doing the easier of the two methods which is VHT Tint Spray. The first thing you want to do is ensure the lights you are tinting are clean and free of any wax, grease or dirt. Clean the lights with soap and water and then again with rubbing alcohol. Make sure to clean all the edges on the light and the surrounding area. You could either remove the lights to spray them or if you're confident enough you can tape around the light. Just make sure you stick the tape in and under the light. Usually there will be a gap around the whole light enough to get the tape in there. Double check your tape job to ensure no tape is touching or on the light and the area around the light is completely covered. Use tape and drape after to cover the larger areas from overspray. After the surrounding of the light is all taped up, I'm going to go ahead and clean the lights one more time just to be on the safe side and then we will be ready to spray tint them. You can use a plastic card to tuck in any tape that may be sticking out. Start off with one light tack coat and be careful not to spray too heavy because this stuff tends to run pretty easy. Wait 10 to 15 minutes between each coat or until it looks dry to the touch. The can says it's for off-road use only, but honestly, you could ride around the city with tinted taillights. We offer this service all the time and have no complaints from anyone. The good thing about spray tint is, you can easily spray complex shaped lights with dramatic curves. It's easily removable, but depending on what you use, you could damage the lens. It's very durable, but after a year, it will start to fade. It reduces hazy lights and covers light scratches. Only three to four coats is required depending on how light or how dark you want to go. After your last coat, wait at least 24 hours before taking the vehicle out on the road. The spray tint is now completed on the right side. Next up is more difficult method, which is the film tint. Same thing with the spray tint. We're going to tape up around the tail light because when we make our knife cuts, we don't want to damage or scratch the paint. Once that's all done, cut out a piece of film that is big enough to cover your tail lights. When using tint film, it requires patience guys, remember that. The tools you will need are a knife, a heat gun, and a squeegee. Peel off the film from the backing paper, heat up the whole piece with the heat gun, and stretch it onto the whole light. From here, you'll have to keep lifting, heating, and stretching onto the light until you get all the wrinkles out. 
Heat is a big factor in this because it makes the film stretch and adhere better to the light. Be careful not to heat it up too much or it will rip. Start from one side and work your way to the other side until it's all laid down nice and flat. This is definitely easier with two people. Usually one will heat and the other one will stretch the film onto the light and squeegee it down. This is air release film so all air bubbles should work themselves out. With tint film it is easy removal with a heat gun but can leave sticky residue depending on how long the tint has been on. It's high quality thick material which is made to last for at least 3-5 to five years. It protects the lens from rock chips, road debris and anything else that's on the road. It comes in many different shades and colors to customize not only your tail lights, but your headlights, fog lights, and side marker lights. Once the film tint is laid down all nicely, go over it again with heat and press it all down just to make sure it's on there good. After that, get your knife and cut the excess tint from around the whole tail light. Now be very careful when doing this because you don't want to go through the tape and cut the paint. Go very slow and apply little pressure. Now if you have a sharp knife, it is definitely obviously better because it will cut through the vinyl like butter. When tinting your tail lights, make sure to leave them on the vehicle. That way you won't be holding the light and trying to tint them at the same time. Once you made the cut and removed all the tape, the final step is to go over all the edges and corners with a heat gun and a squeegee to wrap the tint around the light and heat shrink it onto the light. This makes sure the tint will last long and not peel off within a few weeks. Now both tail lights are blacked out, one side with film tint which is the more advanced way of tinting your lights and the other side is done with spray tint which is recommended for first timers. I know there's a lot of people that say this reduces light or the person behind you won't be able to see your lights but honestly the light still shines through, it adds an aggressive look and it goes with the tinted windows as well as the black paint on the vehicle. So that wraps up this video. Let me know which method you prefer and which one you'll be using for your vehicle. Some lights are more complex which leaves you no choice but to spray tint them. Other lights like this Audi which are flat with no bulges or intense curves can be film tinted. Please like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.